Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the upgrade to OS X Server. Now, Apple has come out with its new uh, server application. And so what I want to do is walk you through the new Server 5 uh, that's been released and uh, kind of walk you through the configuration process of it. Now, a couple of things before you do this upgrade. Uh, the first thing is you want to be prepared for the upgrade first, just in case something can, will go wrong. Because a lot of times with these server upgrades, with a lot of the stuff that's happening behind the scenes, things can break. And uh, so if you can't have anything break, then I would caution you in doing that. Uh, but regardless, I did a previous screencast on how to prepare for the OS X server upgrade. I covered how to create a bootable backup, some uh, other options to backup some of your uh, critical service data, and all of that. And so you may want to go and watch that screencast first before you actually jump in and do the upgrade here. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you've got a server that is mission critical, uh, it's probably not a good idea to upgrade yet. Um, there are some things that people are reporting that may be broke, and so you want to be careful. Uh, again, if it's mission critical, you may want to wait uh, before that happens. Uh, you know, if you scroll down here uh, with the different versions and comments, you can see the comments are kind of uh, either great or not so great. And so there's some issues with uh, Apache having some breaks to it, with WebDAV not authenticating for some people. Uh, there's just a few of those things that uh, may cause some issues for you. So if it's mission critical, then again, like I said, I would really wait. Um, the other thing about this uh, operating system upgrade is the fact that uh, for the first time, the upgrade uh, apparently is free. Uh, in previous versions, uh, you would have to pay to upgrade. Uh, you pay $19.99. Again, not a lot to run a server application, but still you'd have to pay uh, every year basically if you were upgrading. And the other difference is, is that now a uh, server is not tied to the operating system. So this is the first time that you can actually run the new Server 5 version without having to upgrade your Mac to El Capitan. So that is a nice uh, change as well, so that your server app doesn't have to change every year if you decide to upgrade to the latest operating system. So it seems like they're decoupling that from the OS, and that's a, that's a really good thing, uh, so that uh, on older machines, you're not having to worry about getting a newer machine in order to upgrade your server data. So that's kind of a nice, uh, a nice feature. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is upgrade, and uh, like I said, you notice I am on a Yosemite desktop here because I wanted to show you the upgrade uh, before the El Capitan upgrade. Uh, I will be doing that as well and showing you how that works, but I just wanted to walk you through this. And like I said, if, if you're hesitant at all, I would just wait because I'll report any bugs and things that I find as well through the upgrade. So I've already downloaded uh, the application. I already got that started, so let me just go ahead and pop this down here. And I'm going to launch uh, the server application. So let me do that. OK, and so here is the OS 10 server application. Now, what you'll get uh, if you've had server running in the background, it's going to say that it's detected a new version of server, and it's going to shut down your services. So right now, my server isn't running uh, because I haven't done the upgrade yet. So everything's just kind of stopped. So all we need to do to do the upgrade is just hit, click on Continue here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I've got to agree to the terms uh, and licensing agreement. Uh, you'll notice this little checkbox here that says use Apple service to determine the server's internet reachability. Uh, in server four, they introduced this reachability service that basically Apple checks your services and pings them to see if they're reachable remotely and returns to you the different services that are open uh, on the internet. In other words, they're open where you can get them remotely. And so this is a nice service to have there. Uh, if you want to do your own pings and stuff like that, you can do that or test of your services, but I would recommend checking that box uh, to take advantage of the service that's built in. Again, it's not super reliable uh, all the time, but still good to have. So I'm going to do that and say agree. And so now it's going to ask me to authenticate. So you need to put in your administrator uh, password. Okay, once I put that in, all I've got to do is click allow. And so now it's going to start the actual upgrade process. And so you can see here, it's telling me what it's doing. It's updating the various services. Um, down here, it's kind of telling me what services are being updated. And like right now, it's updating the mail service. Uh, and so this bar will go all the way to the end, and then the update uh, will be finished. And so uh, it's moving pretty, pretty quickly there. Again, it's updating the web service. And like I said, some people were having some issues with Apache. Uh, so you may want to uh, take a look and see if that happens for you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let this run and finish its upgrade, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's finished. 
Okay, here we are at the end of the upgrade. And so we're at the end of the bar here. And it's taken about, oh, I don't know, a good six minutes or so uh, to upgrade. And so now we're launched right into the server application as soon as we're done. And so here we are on the brand new uh, OS X server version 5. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there's a little bit of change in the look. Uh, you notice that we've got uh, icons looking just a, just a little bit different. They're uh, set up really to match some of the font uh, changes and things in El Capitan. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, we've got a few changes here in terms of how the interface looks. Uh, we've got just kind of more big buttons here without a lot of text. And we've also got um, boxes around things like our network interfaces here and all of that information. You can see here we're uh, loading up the reachability service and it's uh, checking to see uh, which services are actually uh, reachable uh, from the internet. Uh, everything else looks pretty much the same. Uh, they have changed uh, this to just stats over here. You can see there's a little different icon there. Uh, again, you can see it says no service is reachable, uh, but I do know that those uh, things are there. Uh, so let me just go over to Office here real quick, and let's just make sure that my, uh, yeah, so my Airport Extreme base station is there. All of these services are open uh, and exposed to the Internet. And so sometimes, like I said, the reachability service isn't uh, as reliable uh, in uh, finding those services. Uh, so not quite sure what the bug is with that, but uh, I'll do some more research to check it out. Uh, pretty much across the board, all of your services are the same, as you can see here. Uh, there's not a lot of changes in the actual services themselves, um, but there are some details that have changed that I will uh, definitely be digging into uh, to help you understand how to use some of the new features and things. So uh, there's the upgrade for you. Like I said, not a ton of uh, not a ton of changes to it, uh, just a few visual ones. Uh, as you go through the different um, the different services, like for instance on the caching service, you can see it's given a little bit more details uh, in here. But really, it's it and here it's more of a cosmetic change. And so, uh, but we will go through some of the ways in which you can change some of the permissions and things like that. So that gives you an idea on the upgrade to server. Like I said, pretty uh, painless uh, in terms of an upgrade, upgrade and how that goes. And you notice I have upgraded it to uh, the version 5 here on Yosemite. Um, but like I said, uh, there may be some things that aren't working. I will go ahead and test all of those out and hopefully get back to you on that. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.